Hi, my name is Cold Beer, and Humble Bundle just dropped in November's choice with 8 amazing Steam games, and all of them combined just for 10 euros or 12 USD. This is such a great deal, you will find a link to the collection in the description below and in the first pinned comment as well. And now let's explore games one by one. Let's start with WWE 2K23. When I was a kid, you know, some 7-8 years old, my country Lithuania had recently regained independence from the Soviet Union, and we were flooded with all the great American things that we had never seen before. That was like year 1991 or 1992 and wrestling was one of the things we as kids got very interested in. It never became a thing here, you know, as a sport, but we were collecting various stickers, magazines and stuff like that. My friend even had a poster with Hulk Hogan and all the kids in the block were super envious of it. Well, that was a Polish poster and they named it Hulk Shoganovich on it, but we didn't care. And if we had a game like this back in the day, oh boy, but we didn't, we played Mortal Kombat instead. Anyway, it's a great fighting game filled with lore and you know, John Cena himself. You can beat Hulk Hogan as John Cena here, or the other way around, I checked, it's possible. And the review score is very positive, so what's not to like? Produce this is an old-school first-person shooter game reimagined using modern rendering techniques and technology. Here you experience the quality you would expect from a modern AAA game, designed with retro aesthetics and gameplay that invoke the tech-imposed limits of older hardware. The game features a campaign made by industry veterans, co-op and competitive multiplayer play, and a fully integrated level editor. As developers say, get ready to paint the walls red. This is the boomer shooter you have been waiting for. Friends vs. Friends Despite the childish looks the game offers immensely fun gameplay. Friends vs. Friends is an online PvP shooter that combines combat and deck building. Honestly, really unique and fun combination. It's like you and your mother-in-law, or cucumbers with honey. Sounds weird, but it's really delicious. So here you'll have to choose your character, customize your card base loadout and get ready for the fights of your life. Or more like for the fights of your death. Because the game is filled with great players and with balding dudes still living in their parents' basement. Never underestimate their power. You can play 1 vs 1 or 2 vs 2. Gain levels, get new cards, improve the ones you already have and get to know an array of eclectic characters with their own unique passive skills. People are saying that this is a great fast-paced game, but it will infuriate you way more than you expect. SCP Secret Files here you'll play as a rookie researcher Carl, a new employee at the SCP Foundation. You are assigned to help organize some of the Foundation's top secret files. However, something inexplicable happens while you are browsing the archives. Your perception of the world gradually changes and even your mental health becomes seriously affected. The game offers a diverse range of gameplay experiences. You will investigate a mysterious hydroelectric power plant, immerse yourself in an uplifting fable, or delve into a bizarre retro inspired world. Each story introduces its own tone, mechanics, graphic style and cast of characters. It's like many games in one. SCP Secret Files has around 90% of positive reviews, so if you are not afraid of some scary mysteries, there is no excuse for you not to try this wonderful game. Soldiers. This is beautiful and also a very difficult metroidvania game. You will fight for your freedom in a sprawling fantasy world caught between the living and the fallen. While out fighting for the glory of your kingdom, you and your fellow soldiers are whisked away to a mystical land on the fringes of the afterlife. Your task is to locate the Guardian and move on to the next world. And to do that, you will have to slash, parry and dodge your way through an ever-evolving roster of enemies, upgrading your skills and equipment to find a combat style that's perfect for you. People are saying that the game is kinda hard, and it's not actually meant for the newbies of the genre. Well, that is insulting, I will be installing it to prove them wrong. Well, or the other way around. Yeah, probably to prove them right. Hot Space Shipbreaker there are so many games where you just fly the spaceships, but have you ever thought about where these ships go when you don't need them anymore? Well, me neither. That would be dumb. But someone couldn't shake the idea and made this game. So here, equipped with cutting-edge salvaging technology, you will carve and slice spaceships to recover valuable materials, upgrade your gear and take on more lucrative contracts, and pay your billion credits debt to a shady corporation. Human life means nothing to them, so you are just a tool with the capability of holding other tools. You know, if your hammer could hold another hammer, nobody would need you at all. Just think about that, how fragile everything is. Anyway, the game is a proud owner of very positive reviews, and if you feel adventurous, this may be your spoon of potato salad. Although be careful, too much of zero gravity can convert you into another space object. A comet. A vomit comet.
The Legend of Tianding. Here you'll play as a vigilante of Taipei City wanted by the colonial Japanese authorities. You will rap the rich, feed the poor and fight for justice in the streets of Taipei as Taiwan's legendary outlaw. So basically a Robin Hood just without a hood, without a forest and with a different name. The game, according to developers, is based on real events, real people and real situations. I know little about Taiwan except the thing that we had opened something like Taiwan's embassy here in Lithuania and China got furious. Judging from the propaganda and it spreads about hunger in Lithuania. It still is. Nobody here cared or cares about that though. We have way worse neighbors here to actually worry about. Anyway, The Legend of Tianding is an exploration of a place and time often overlooked and presented in the style of a traditional Chinese comics. People are saying that this is a very solid 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up with a unique presentation of Taiwanese folklore. Unpacking this is a beautiful Zen puzzle game about the familiar experience of pulling possessions out of boxes and fitting them into a new home. It's part block fitting puzzle, part home decoration, where you are invited to create a satisfying living space while learning clues about the life you are unpacking. Over the course of eight house moves, you are given a chance to experience a sense of intimacy with a character you never see and a story you are never told. It is simple, but also a thing you probably will never experience in real life because when you move somewhere you usually know what items you have and where to put them. Game is super relaxing. And honestly, while writing this short overview, I started to watch some gameplays of other people and it was hard to stop. The game is mesmerizing. Also, it has above 90% of positive review score on Steam, so you can't go wrong with this one. So the combined value of the games in this bundle is 202 euros when they are not on sale. But I also checked what would be the price for you if you bought all these games on sale with their best discounts. And I got 111 euros. That is incredibly 11 times more than the price of this bundle. And if you are in doubt, there is no trick. You pay once, all the games are yours forever. Also, all the Steam keys are official and legit. Developers are getting paid. You will find my affiliate link to this amazing bundle in the description below and in the first pinned comment as well. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!